Hey, turkey afterwards. Your lips are moving, Peter. And, uh, all about the bass, but an unhappy DJ Swearinger on the Redskins just looking awful yesterday and why they might not get the respect from the national media. We can go out there and, you know, do what we do whatever on teams that ain't good. Like I said, against Tampa, we can do whatever we want on teams that ain't good. But when you got teams that, you know, that can play with you, you got you to gotta prepare. Mm -hmm. You got to tackle. You got to do the simple things right. If you don't do the simple things right, you're going to get embarrassed on national TV. That's why we don't get respect as a Redskins. We don't do the simple right. You know, we do the simple right. I guarantee you we get respect. So we don't need no damn respect. Redskins and Cowboys like two ships passing each other on a night and in the rankings. The Redskins still 6-5, and five, but on a bit of a downswing. Their starting quarterbacks injured. Colt McCoy did all he could. It was not enough. The Cowboys grabbed sole possession on a three-game win streak. And they've got the Saints in a couple of days right here on NFL Network back in Arlington. Okay, we've been talking all about the NFC because there were three NFC games. But the AFC is vibrant and well as well. And today is Black Friday. So we're going to do a little shopping, GMFB style. I'm going to give you guys a team, the three of you, and you're going to tell me the level in which you're buying in on the team, making a run at the Super Bowl. So are you very excited? Are you going to put it right away? Or are you kind of waiting and kind of seeing how it okay, goes and sure, checking yeah. out the prices? Whatever. Hide your time. Let's go to the AFC playoff picture, and I will go team by team. And we're going to keep the Steelers and the Chiefs out of this thing. They're the one and two seeds right now. We're going to go with everyone else. Kyle. I'm going to start with you. All right. Let's look at that four seed. The Houston Texans. Are you buying them as a legitimate Super Bowl contender right now as we head into week 12? I look at Texas kind of like a Groupon. Like, they, they keep sending them to you over, and in fact, they send seven of them to you. And you're like, this looks like a good deal. Like, the, my friends seem to like this. Yeah. One of the guys I work with loves it. He used it. And then I just keep holding on to him, and I never use it. The Texans are fascinating because the joke is worst seven-game win streak ever. It's not a thing you can do. But if you look at it, they don't have the hashtag quality wins, no faults of their own, and they won't have an opportunity to have one the rest of the schedule. So Kay brought it up earlier that they may not win, lose another game. They may finish 13-3. and three. Some pundits say. That pundit said, however, Peter, you asked Super Bowl favorite? No, like just the style points aren't there yet, so I'm holding on to the group on. I'm okay. taking the car right to the toy aisle with all the superheroes and Iron Man and Wolverine, and I'm picking up the J.J. Watt one, and I'm putting it in my cart, and the... Uh, DeAndre Sean? Hopkins, the Deshaun ones, they have these superstars to make a play late in the playoffs. I'm into it. I'm online shopping. I'm, I'm okay. online shopping. I'm looking at these guys, and I want to purchase it. Everything about it fits right, looks good. But... The winning streak is there, but I'm just not all the way sold on it. So, I'm going to take that item, I'm going to just put it in my cart, mm -hmm. and I'm going to wait till later. And then I'm going to go have a meal. I'll come back and check it okay. out. We'll see. i got to see a You're little not bit more. Body of work. I'll Next keep sending you those emails like, it's still in the cart, Petty. Still, still in the, the cart. cart. Check out. Okay, before the season started, you picked the Chargers to win the AFC. They are very much in the playoff Don't picture. do this to me. Okay, Adams, are you buying the Los Angeles Chargers as a legitimate Super Bowl contender? I still am. Get out of your own way. You can't lose another one. You're at the stub. You're facing Josh Rosen. Don't let Josh Rosen into the club. That's all I got to say. I will say the talent is great enough that I am buying my shares in them going in. Top 10 defense, top 10 offense. Get it done. Buying shares. Can't abandon okay. Okay. Heavy right mm -hmm. there. Go on. Stock market. I'm looking at them like a flashy sidebar that I like. People in your area like this product, and I really want to click on it because it looks like a great product. I've clicked on it before, though, and then they sent it to the wrong address. It's gotten burned. The trust factor with the charges is not there for me yet. I don't want to click yet. Yeah, you know, I actually, I put on this outfit. This is that, that outfit that looks good in the mirror, but there's there's certain parts of it that just don't fit me. I mean, it's, it's you know, closing out the games that you're Got supposed it. to win. A little short in the sleeves, uh, but I, I'm going to wear it, though, for a while. But I feel like people are looking at me funny saying, is that a Chargers outfit you have on? But I do love them enough to put on the outfit. Let's cut to the one that we want to talk about. Go Let's go to the one that everyone's bought for every year, but maybe this version isn't what we're used to. Kyle Brent, yeah. right now, week 12, yeah. are you buying the New England Patriots as Super Bowl contenders? I'm buying them. I'm door busting. I got a baseball bat. I got a taser. Elbows? Nobody's elbows. I'm going to be on World Star trying to get myself a Patriots TV. I took a blood oath. I cannot give up on them. Yes, I'm buying everything they got. Give me the flat screens. That's my, those are my guys right now. 
I just don't need them. You know what I mean? Like you're oh. shopping and you're like, oh, it's a great sweater. It's even on sale a little bit. Cashmere. Nobody's looking at them. Do I need the cashmere sweater? <laughs> I don't. There's a lot of other cool things that I want to buy. This is not a top 10 defense. When Brady goes to the Super Bowl and he goes to the playoffs and he kills it and he wins Super Bowls, he's got a top five defense. They don't have a top 10 one right now, so I'm not sold on him. I'm walking in the store and I see this big display and it's New England Patriots. I walk past it. I'm like, I've seen that before. Couple friends that has that, and I'm like, I don't need it. I go in the store again; it's still there. I'm like, I don't need this. But I like it though; it looks good. It's always there, very consistent. Yeah. Christmas comes around; it's in my living room. Mm -hmm. It's always there, so I don't want to buy it. I don't feel like the Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. It's not Christmas I, without it. But I. <laughs> <laughs> but, but there's people in my family that says, Nate, it's going to be in your damn living room. Get used to it. So I'm going to unwrap this gift in the postseason. Kyle, what are the Jets? The Jets are like a penny saver. You know, they slip that through your mail. And you're like, hey, just throw it away or make it kindling. I love the Jets. And they're green like money. I penny saver. Is that a thing still? They always play the Pats hard, though. Yeah, that's true.